Hey, how's it going everyone? So I'm gonna give you guys a little demo on a diagnostics issue that can happen. So the complaint on this Ram Promaster van is it's got an engine knock. It's pretty audible that the engine's uh, super noisy. So on first listen, someone would think that the engine's got a rod knock and that uh, we have to replace the entire engine for this. Uh, that's not gonna be the case with this particular van. So we'll get under and uh, get a listen to it. Okay, so with the van in the air, you probably can't hear me very well. You can hear the knocks pretty, uh, pretty substantial. What this is going to be, though, this is not going to be a rod knock. Uh, we'll shut the engine off and I'll show you what actually is making the noise. It's going to be the torque converter's flex plate. All right, so I have the engine uh, shut off so that we can inspect for the, the noise. Uh, this particular vehicle has a uh, inspection window. Uh, it's also the window to remove the torque converter bolts. And if we look up, you can probably just barely see it. Let me see if I can, trying to look through the viewfinder of the camera and aim the flashlight. You can see it right there um, where there's that uh, opening, that, that release for, for weight. There's a crack right there. Now that crack's causing the flex plate to uh, move around and give that uh that knocking noise that we're hearing so this is one of those situations that it's like a 70 dollar flex plate now labor is going to be a, a ways because we do have to re remove the transmission to get it out but it's very easily misdiagnosed as an engine making that knocking noise so the engine's perfectly fine we just need to replace the flex plate when we go through and replace the flex plate we'll obviously have to use new torque converter bolts and new flex plate to the crankshaft bolts with the transmission removed, I can gain access to the flex plate. So I've already taken it off the back of the engine and with just a little bit of a tap of a hammer, we can see the uh, core comes right out. So this is uh, going to be due to the torque converter flexing and causing the flex plate to uh, do as it's, as it's supposed to. Uh, this can happen for a couple different reasons. It happens on these larger vans because uh, they're under a lot more torque than a normal automatic would be. Uh, one of the other tell signs that this is going to be an issue is we can see there's rust dust starting to form everywhere. So this is where the two pieces of metal have uh, been rubbing up against each other because they've already cracked and it sends dust everywhere. So if you can remove the inspection cover and see some of this dust, then that's also an indication that you probably have a crack. But it's cracked in several different spots other than just the, uh, the center portion. Uh, conveniently, this is just a flex plate that doesn't have a tone wheel on it for the crankshaft position sensor. Uh, some vehicles do have the tone wheel on the outside of this and that can cause uh, a misfire that would be not normally read uh, correctly. So you can get a misfire code when there actually isn't a misfire. I've also seen to where the vehicles don't want to run. So we'll install the new one. Uh, we'll make sure to torque these to spec and we're going to add red Loctite to the crankshaft bolts. For a couple reasons these holes aren't uh, are through to the crank so oil can come out of them we don't want to have an oil leak out of the back of the engine as well as we don't want this to come loose at all so we'll torque this down to spec get the transmission reinstalled and the vehicle should be ready to go back uh, into service one of the other things to note is uh there are some keyed holes if you can see that these are round these are one of the keyed holes so this is the one for the crank that's the one for the torque converter so these are the centering holes that will center all of the fasteners in their correct location so when we're installing it this bolt has to go in first and that one has to go in for the torque converter first and then all of the uh bolts for the torque converter will all be lined up and it'll be all nice and concentric so appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch the video. Now this one was kind of quick. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.